Yo, what up, guys? It's Ken, and today I'm going to be going over the Vice DS1 plugin. Last video, we went over the EQ1, and I told you guys I'm going to be doing a little plugin overview demo series. So, this is the second um second video i'm doing so let's get let's get straight into this same same thing as last time i'm gonna be showing you guys um how the plugin uh like the features and stuff how the plugin works and i'm gonna be using it to mix a beat and using it to mix vocals same thing as last time i'm gonna show you guys the features all the buttons and stuff how it works and then i'm gonna be using it on a beat and then on my vocals i'm using the same i'm in the same session as last video it's gonna be the same song Maybe next video I'll do a different song, but let's get into it. One thing I didn't mention in the last video is that all these Vice plugins use a lot of CPU power. So before you buy them, make sure your CPU is is pretty strong because if you don't have a strong CPU, you're not going to be able to use multiple um, like DS1s or EQ1s in the same session. It, it takes up a lot of CPU, so just make sure you're aware of that before you go and buy all these plugins and expect to use like... 10 of them in a session that's i can't even use 10 of them honestly i could probably only use like two ds1s two eq1s or maybe three but they use a lot of cpu by the way there's some plugins already on the beat but you guys will still be able to hear what i'm going to be doing to it but here's the plugin itself it has the same um same bypass button you can a b you can also monitor um what part you're compressing you got a side chain link parallel compression uh safe limiter which is basically this limiter gain actually no i'm sorry about that the safe limiter is just um just safe limiting so it doesn't clip um mid side button if you want to compress mid side which is kind of works the same way as the eq1 where channel one would be mid channel two would be side um i don't really do i don't really do mid side compression i've never done mid side compression with this compressor you got a gain meter over here. You got your attack, release delay, and just some other like release settings and stuff like that. You can see that as you move the attack, it changes over here. Over here is the, actually, I don't really know what, I think this just shows the waveform if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, I don't really actually, I never really use that. Okay, so basically this button, if you click this button, this gain knob is going to be controlling the input gain. And then if you switch over to the limiter gain, then this gain knob is going to be adding gain with the limiter um, after the fact. And then the output gain is just regular output gain. Nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and see what this um, options button is. So when you click options, you got dithering settings, limiter settings. I don't touch this. Actually, I wonder what, uh, I actually do want to try testing the difference between DS1 type 1, type 2 for the limiter. I've just been on type 1 the whole time. Um, then you got some copy settings if you want to, I guess, copy presets or whatever. Sidechain, internal, external, which could be pretty useful because if you select it to external, you can basically compress the certain part of the beat when let's say your vocals activate or your vocals come back in which is pretty useful if you know your vocals have a lot of mid-range and so does the beat and that shit is clashing if you want to take out some mid-range let's say in like 800 that's what i do sometimes um take out some mid-range in the beat when the vocals come in so the vocals pop out a little bit more without having to raise the vocals or do any extra processing on the vocals <coughs> but um other than that, you got, I'm actually switch this to internal. Other than that, you have your bandwidth knob, frequency knob to choose your frequency you want to compress in. And then you got, um, basically this button will just compress the, um, it won't select a certain, a certain frequency band. Um, and you guys get the memo, you know, this will be a high pass. This will be a bell. Then you can select the frequency. Same thing with this. You can select, you can see here it's changing. You select this, move it around. Same thing with the, with the um, with the low pass, and then over here, these are some compression settings that you could change over here. I, yeah, you could change them over here too, but I've just used the knobs. You got attack, release delay, release fast, average. If you want it to be a little bit, you know, which is pretty cool, honestly. I've never, 
use the compressor that has an av like a, a button like this you can like let's say you want to have a like a release fast setting really fast and then the release slow really fast you can kind of start here and move it back to kind of you know you could do a lot of stuff with with um these three buttons the release is always important a lot of people sleep on the release setting for a compressor because that can change it literally changes the rhythm um you know if you had you don't want it too fast because it can cause distortion and shit so release is very important when it comes to compression don't don't sleep on that then you got your soft knee um I always just keep it around like a hundred to somewhere around here. I don't ever really put it too low. Um, then you got your threshold button ratio. This can go all the way up to a thousand to one, which is pretty fucking ridiculous. Um, or 20 to one. And then it can go all the way down to like some really low shit. After that, you got your gain makeup, which is very useful. You know, when you compress, you want to get that. Get some makeup game back to to make it a little bit more balanced from to make it a, to match it to the original level. Um, and then you got the off button and then max. So I'm assuming this is just like an auto. Um, it automatically does it. So that was basically just a quick overview of the plug and the buttons and stuff. I'm basically now gonna use this to kind of just mix the beat a little bit. I'm not. I'm just gonna listen to the beat. See what I could do maybe to make it sound better. Show you guys some things that I would do to it. First off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a band and try to find a, a band that I can compress to make it sound better. You hear how when I put the release faster, you hear a lot more distortion. You hear that distortion? So that's why fast releases, you got to be careful with that. It'll bring more distortion in. You hear it like it's not, I wasn't, this is nothing, um, it's nothing too crazy. It's just taking out some lower mids. You can see I have it at like 220. I might actually raise it a little bit, but it's not really doing nothing too crazy. It's pretty transparent. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's not doing nothing too crazy. Just controlling the mid, the lower mid range a little bit because this beat's a little muddy. You see like. What this is doing right now would definitely help um, with some certain vocals that I could tell that certain vocals on this beat would definitely need what this compressor is doing right now to take out some mid range, especially somebody with a deeper voice um, that got a lot of body body in their voice. Um, this would definitely help in that case.
hear that when it's enabled, it's making the kick pop out a little bit more. Listen for the kick. But, um, yeah, that, I was just controlling the bass just there. Now I'll, I'll try messing with the high end, try seeing if I can do something with it. This, this beat already has plugins on it, so it's already being processed. But let me show you guys. Um, let me pull up my vocals now. I'm going to solo my vocals, processing the vocals now. So there's nothing on the vocals. It's only going to be the DS1. All these other plugins are, are going to be disabled. You can miss me with that heart and get far from it. Shoot, shoot, we take a shot. I'm throwing up from when you, um, When you use the vocals, though, make sure the mid side button is off. You want that to be off. From it. From it, shoot, shoot, we take a shot. I'm throwing up. From I'm not gonna, mistakes are made. We split this. I'm not gonna lie with this compressor. You could really use a, especially on vocals, you could use a fast attack like 10 or like 6 or some shit. Um, just be careful because it could kill the dynamics. You don't want to go too crazy, but if it, like if you use a, a 6 or like a, a 10 or some shit for the attack, be careful with the threshold. But I usually, um, I usually keep it at like 20. Or even 40 but it depends the order that this plugin is in because sometimes this plugin I'll, I'll have it like third or other times I'll have it like towards the end to kind of catch peak so it's just gonna depend um, on a couple of things shoot shoot we take a shot I'm throwing up from it mistakes are made we split this game just know the time's coming hold on tight <laughs> rough flow ride Saddle up by my side, it will be alright. Left me dumb and confused, and no return, God had no clue. Nope. You can get far from it. Shoot, shoot, we take a shot, I'm throwing up from it. Mistakes are made, we split this game, just know the time's coming. Hold on tight. <laughs> Rough flow ride. Saddle up by my side, it will be alright. Left me dumb yeah, you hear no the attack is at four. No no. You can hear the attack right now is at four, and it's taking out all those peaks. Vocals aren't as dynamic, but it is getting the job done. You miss me with that heartache, get far from it. Shoot, shoot, we take a shot, I'm throwing up from it. Mistakes are made, we split this game, just know the time's coming. Hold on tight, <laughs> rough flow ride. Saddle up by my side, it will be all right. You can miss me with that heart and get far from it. Shoot, shoot, we take a shot, I'm throwing up from it. Mistakes are made, we split this game, just know the time's coming. Hold on tight, <laughs> rough flow ride. Saddle up by the way, by my side. there's no EQ processing on these vocals, so they don't sound too bad to be honest. Um, with just this plugin so far. I'm gonna go ahead and um, switch this to a bell and try to take out some like mid range. Um, Cause right just now I was, cause just now I was compressing the whole vocal. Now I'll switch it to a bell and try to take out some mid. Get far from it. 
mistakes or maybe we split this game Just know the time's coming Hold on tight <laughs> Rough flow ride Saddle up by my side It will be alright Ain't confused with no return Got high, no clue, no party Get far from it Shoot, shoot, we take a shot I'm throwing up from it Mistakes or maybe we split this game Just know the time's coming Hold on tight <laughs> Rough flow ride, saddle up by my side, it will be alright. Left me dumb and confused with no return, gone had no clue, nope. You can miss me with that heartache, get far from it. Shoot, shoot, we take a shot, I'm throwing up from it. Mistakes are made, we split this. Yeah, it definitely sounds a lot better when I ride in the uh Hold on tight when I ride in the band. <laughs> Rough flow ride, saddle up by my side, it will be alright. Left me down and confused with no return. God, I had no clue. Nope. So, yeah, I honestly, overall, just made the vocals sound a little bit more clean, balanced. Um, you don't want to, you know, you don't always have to go too crazy with um, when it comes to, like, compression and shit. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe. I'm going to be doing the DS or next um, by Vice. Make sure to go check out the last video I did for the EQ1. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys next time. Peace. Need some distance from the face. Life is cinema. Feel so in your day.